Hello friends, how are you doing? Hi! Thank you so much that you visit my channel. So today we will go for uh, one very nice travel. Uh, it is, uh, we travel in Uman, in Sofia Park. Now uh, some is comes too much in my eyes. And uh, we are in the middle of our way and I show it to you something very beautiful. So it is some very nice river and uh, so fun people get fun to jump in from this uh, point and yeah so chill atmosphere in ukraine for me i never will do something crazy like this jumping in river i don't know why they so crazy uh, write in comments who can jump in river like this like crazy people and enjoy so nice water oh my god looks on this beautiful guys so now we we are in our way and uh, here you can see the streets how it looks uh, and uh, like in general one area you see very beautiful green and other have some small buildings so this is like more typical houses in ukraine and behind you will see some very nice uh, fountain very beautiful place so Uman is the city of Ukraine uh, where it was the river Umanka river uh, and um, this uh, city was very long time from uh, Polish management from family Potocki it was one very famous family and actually they are the, uh, starting to build this uh, famous Sofiaevska park where we are going right now and uh, this is road uh, directly will bring us uh, so guys now we arrive inside park and it's starting this very beautiful fountains is there and i take excursion and we will go to more interesting places and i will translate it so first of all when we come inside the park we will see uh stanislav potoski and then this beautiful sofia for her he built this uh, park and a very nice entrance mm, so excited to show it Sofiyevka National Dendrolic Park in Ukraine is uh, one of the most beautiful places in Ukraine, definitely. So this park was built uh, for uh, Patotsky to the Sofia. Here is the first uh, uh, stone what they was putting for the beginning of uh, the builds. Sofiyevska Park was founded in 1796 by Polish noble Count Stanislav Patotsky. He named the park after his wife Sofia. When the construction was finishing in 1802, Sofia received the park as a gift from her husband on her birthday. So guys, now you understand which kind of gift in that time woman was receiving. So what you cannot imagine what women want to have now. So beautiful, so chill. Sofiyevka National Park is one of the world famous landscape garden art creation. There are many scenic areas in the park including waterfalls, fountain, ponds and stone garden. It is one of the most famous examples of European landscape garden design that has been preserved to the present time. Uman is situated around 200 kilometers from Kyiv. The most faster way to arrive in this area it is by car uh, from highway Kyiv Odessa. It is guys so incredible place because can you imagine that these big stones uh, the people bring it here uh, some stones were there already but some they bring it and this is closed room unfortunately we cannot visit there but they tell us that uh, there is exactly the uh, most stronger fountain what is giving the water everywhere the park have so many beautiful decoration so many beautiful grots looks on this um, can you imagine how strong this uh, build and even we have sometimes shaking of the land i don't remember how it's said and it's not moving till that time looks on this oh my god so beautiful also you can enjoy as a view of four lake can you imagine for so beautiful now i'm enjoying view with uh, our snake by the way they told us very 
crazy story that this snake was really living there and one day she eat uh, some bird uh, with the eggs and uh, she become a stone and uh, the story says that one day when the uh, bird will have to use the there at her house and uh, she will pick up and this is the touching this one and then you going out three times to make your wish a true you must walk three times in front of this one and you don't yes, need to yes, tell yes, anyone I what know, is I your wish times because I want my wish to come to reality Looks on this beautiful statue. So actually, the uh, lead, his tale, are so many nice stories. Uh, what is uh, mixed with uh, Greek, um, and uh, this is a beautiful river, uh, like saying a small river where uh, the dog Cerber they bring uh, out of um, uh, soul, yeah, in uh, Greek mythology. And this is out of this. Unfortunately, I cannot do record inside. It was very scary. And uh, I really like it, actually. Yeah, and these stones is really incredible, guys. You must do visit one day. Looks on this beautiful. So, beautiful. guys, here you can like see custom. so beautiful stuff. What I you really can take it. at home uh, for uh, memories that you visit this beautiful place. So nice. So guys, this is all street when you can find something very nice to take it with you for your memories for this lovely place. So beautiful. Mostly it is all handmade. Or mostly it is all handmade work. Looks on this beautiful. Also painting. Actually, I was so tired to come close because we was walk all day. About prices for souvenirs, it's like super economic. You can find something even so less than one dollar. So yeah, it's like something very cute. And uh, so guys, I want to show it to you uh, one very beautiful handmade place with uh, handmade. Looks on this beautiful. I really like it. And they have so big uh, painting. It's like super nice. My magnet I bring from this place. I love it. This is definitely so beautiful place for walking and enjoying. Even if you come there alone or with family, with kids, you definitely will enjoy a lot. It's so beautiful. So beautiful this is uh, island is called Island uh, also, of Love. I like the so beautiful. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. So the opening hours from 9 a.m. till 7 p.m. every day from May 1 to November 15, especially in autumn, when maximum beautiful so guys, because they becomes so very colorful. You watching this nice video, I hope you really like it. I want to remind you where we was. It was Uman uh, and um, part of Sofia. You must visit this place because it has history more than 200 years, and it's so incredible and so beautiful place in Ukraine with so big um, area and uh, so different styles uh, mixed here what you can find and discover for yourself and by the way right now we are in this beautiful small boat uh, where you can uh, make around um, one very nice round in front of uh, island of love behind me behind me from the right side you can see the island of love 
and it's so beautiful place. Um, also, by the way, I want to tell you that um, swimming in this kind of boat where you only alone uh, cost only like around uh, 13 14 dollars, it's uh, 300 grivna. Um, so it's like super nice price actually. Uh, also very nice you can spend here like all day or you can take excursion uh, like around one hour and a half they will tell you in English and in Russian and in Ukrainian language uh, about historical places by the way if you want to be like uh, without excursion you will find uh, each important place have a specific um, like specific uh, in Ukrainian in English language so uh, you can uh, discover the, this beautiful place uh, by yourself and what is very nice here also you have a lake uh, under the water uh, it's like around 10 minutes you can enjoy very atmosphere very unique atmosphere to swimming under the water and yeah about tickets tickets is like super uh, economic only 100 for adult so it is even less than so guys it's less than four dollars can you imagine it's like wow so beautiful especially can you imagine this place in autumn where every tree is different colors from uh, yellow uh, red uh, green it's uh, super beautiful thank you so much um, follow my channel please put your like write your comment what more you want to see about ukraine and about my life i will be happy to share it with you